One of the major problems fueling the opioid epidemic across the country is the easy access to prescription drugs. And as Fox 47's Christopher Lane reports, police departments are trying to fix that by keeping unused opioids from getting into the wrong hands. We have an opioid epidemic in this country, so that is not just heroin, it's prescription opioids, narcotics, Oxycontin, Vicodin, those kinds of drugs. And many people don't know what to do with the prescriptions they don't need anymore. And since they aren't supposed to be thrown away, the pills are usually left in the house unused. But a lot of times it starts with a prescription or it starts with access to a prescription and experimentation. Um, like I said, in a family uh, or friend's medicine cabinet. That can lead to addiction, which can lead to more drug use. People who are addicted to pain pills often transition into heroin. So prevention of that in the first place is very key, and preventing abuse of prescription narcotics is key to that. That's why the Drug Enforcement Agency is partnering with state police across the country to collect pills Saturday. The 30 state police posts throughout the state are participating in the National Drug Take Back Initiative and these posts will have their doors open and ready to accept those prescription pills that the community wants to drop off. When MSP participated in April, tons of people dropped off their unused prescription drugs in a safe manner. In Michigan alone, there's over 14,000 pounds of prescription pills taken and we alone took over 1,000 pounds of those prescription medications. MSP believes drug take back days make huge strides to stop those overdoses and to slow the opioid epidemic. It, it's always a win. If, if we can get these drugs properly disposed of and out of the hands of individuals that may use them illicitly or by accident, it's always a win. Our whole goal is to stop drug overdoses. Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. And you can find a full list of drop-off locations on our website at fox47news.com.